We as South Africans, including Nelson Mandela, welcomed Uncle Ali with warmth and open arms when he sought refuge in our country from the tyranny in his homeland more than a decade ago. He has repaid our hospitality millions of times over with the construction of the Nazimia Mosque Complex in Midran, which includes a primary and a secondary school and a clinic. In this way, he has impacted on the lives of thousands of people and will continue to do so after his death recently. He is an extraordinary example of the contribution asylum seekers and migrants can make to South African society if given the chance and the opportunity. Uh, Uncle Ali. Uh, yes, he was. His work is um, known by Nizamia Mosque. Uh, that is the visible um, work that one can say. But he dedicated his entire life to helping the humanity, uh, to helping um, you know the, the ones who are in need, particularly in the field of education. You know, every year, uh, you know, he would make sure that thousands of literally thousands of thousands of students would receive scholarship from uh, from him, um, and he would he would make a point of uh, going out of his way to help the needy ones, the poor uh, sections of the societies. Uh, but those ones are um, not not visible signs you know he would do that without without anyone noticing it but as i said in uh, in south africa the zamia complex is the visible work of him um but uh, it is not just that he's you know his entire life of 86 85 86 years uh, was dedicated to to islam dedicated to helping others assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh i'm dr ismail mita uh, i've known uncle ali from 2012 Alhamdulillah, we've, uh, we met when I performed Taraweeh for the first time in Zamia and uh, we've had a relationship since then. I've always known him to be a very compassionate, loving, gentle soul. May Allah grant him Jannah to fill those. Uh, he's done lots for many and may all his work and his good deeds uh, accompany him in his grave, inshallah. We make dua that Allah grant him Jannah to fill those. We make dua that Allah grant the family ease. And we make dua that Allah uh, adorn his grave with uh, Noor. Uncle Ali uh, started the, the Zamia complex and his main concern was about the people in the environment and the people of South Africa. So uh, he established obviously the, the Zamia complex which is just not just uh, a mosque, it is also uh, an educational complex, it is got a healthcare facility and he does a lot of philanthropic uh, work in the community. Uh, he was a giant and he established himself in this community over the period of 2006. I think it was that he came to South Africa. It took him about six years to build this mosque. Uh, he was a giant amongst us. And may Allah grant him and fill his cover with Nur, inshallah.